Yo, Kip, this guy here. Hey, so I have partnered with Apos Audio, apos.com. They have sent me out the SMSL SD9 to review for you guys. Thank you to them for making this video possible. This is really cool because I have not at all in my time of home theater or music dabbled in to hi-fi streamers like this. I've seen them everywhere. I've watched a lot of videos, but I've never had one for myself. And the reason why you want to pick one of these up is if you listen to a vast variety of music. We're talking Bluetooth, DLNA, maybe you have some music on a, a, a like a hard drive. You can you know stream from this thing, use Wi-Fi to get your music. It has a plethora of options to harness all of your music into one place, Apple AirPlay, all of those things, right? And it's all, you know, it's all in this little chassis right here with a single antenna. So this is really cool because like I said, you can put all your music together and stream it, but it also cleans up the sound as well. So if you play your music through this to an amplifier of some sort, then you get a really nice lossless signal. Actually, you guys see the high res audio uh, sticker on the top. This does give you some really good sound and I've been listening to it in my home theater for no, maybe a week now just to get the, the idea of it. And I can see the definitely, I definitely see the appeal of this. So let's talk a little bit about it. So as you guys can see, not very big, um, pretty solid construction, all things considered. It does have like a glass top here. It is a fingerprint magnet. So place it where you want it, wipe it down and don't touch it anymore. Um, but you do have a screen on the front that allows you to do some configurations, going through settings, um, enabling Bluetooth, setting up a Wi-Fi hotspot, things like that. There are also some settings in here to change like your sound parameters. It has like an EQ in here for jazz and rock and sad and things like that. So you can actually really tailor your music how you want to inside the streamer. And then you can control it all with the remote if you like to, just your basic everyday remote you're used to seeing on most of these devices. Or you can use the volume knob here, which is also like a select button. You can go through the menus and select things. You can press and hold to turn it on, press and hold to turn it off. So. It's a really cool little gadget to enhance your overall music listening. So instead of trying to memorize all of these different format playbacks, I'm just going to read them off the manual. This thing has a lot of capabilities. It plays pretty much any type of music, including MQA, DSD, Wave, APE, FLAC, AIFF, MP3, and etc. So anything you're going to be throwing at this, it's going to be able to play it most likely. And then all digital interface, USB, optical, coaxial, I to S, AES slash EBU, and Bluetooth. And then it supports streaming media playback like DL, DLNA and AirPlay. So again, tons of ways to use this device. And then I'll flip it on the back side. You guys can see a couple USBs, the AES, all that stuff is all back here, the coaxial. So there's tons of different ways for you guys to connect this to whatever you have in your home now. So going through the menus is pretty self-explanatory. This knob does just about everything. So you can twist this to the left or the right and get through different menus. You guys can see system settings, network, what's playing. You can press and hold on some things. Like I'll press, let's go to settings here. If you press on it, it goes into the settings. You can make your adjustments, do updates. You can double click it to go back. So single press, select something double tap takes it back out of the menus and then you can scroll left or right to do whatever you like to so let me find you guys this this setting about music where it has all these playlists or all these sound modes is actually crazy so under system settings you can go down to eq and you can turn this on or off but it has several different eqs custom pop sad classical jazz rock dance metal voices and then you can go into custom here. If I click on custom, then I can, well, it's, it's disabled actually. Let me go back and turn EQ on first. And then if I go into custom, I can actually unlock what looks to be like a, a, a nine or 10 band EQ here. So I can change some of the characteristics of the music that I'm listening to. Now, me personally, when I was listening to audio, I had this off. I don't want to add any other coloration to the sound outside of what I've already been used to with my uh, my equipment. So I left this off. I don't want it to color it any differently. So you can just keep this off. So I'll double click to get out or yeah, double click to get out of here and then turn EQ off. So now none of these set, none of these presets are enabled. 
So, but that's how you get around the menus. The screen is small, but you don't spend a lot of time in here, but it is really cool to see what you're listening to right there on the screen as you pass by. I want to get a huge shout out again to APOS for making this video possible. This is the SMSL um, D9, the SD9. I am super happy to review this. Uh, I've again never had any type of you know hi-fi streaming device before, and I definitely see the appeal of it. And this one's a really good one. I will have a link down below to the APOS website where you can pick this up yourself. I think they retail for $399. It's a really good streamer for the money it has pretty decent reviews on at least their website. So I'm gonna link this down below for you guys. If you've been looking for a streamer, this is one that should be on your short list. It looks like it's really good quality, should hold up for quite a while and supports almost every uh, sound you know, file you possibly have. So thank you again to them for sending this out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you guys in the next one. K-Face Sky out, peace.